Good morning, it's Wednesday, September 6, about 6 a.m. Central Time. Overnight, the precious metals are slightly weaker after yesterday's major extension downwards, especially on the silver, the platinum, and also the palladium contracts. You've got gold unchanged, 1952, silver down 2 cents, 2384, copper down 1.5 at 383, and platinum down 8 at 925. So the key themes to watch here are dollar strength, any kind of strength on the treasury yields, and also how hawkish is the Fed. Today at about 1 o'clock central, we'll have the Fed's beige book, which is an analysis that the Fed uses to help make interest rate decisions. It's not the only key element, but it is one of the elements they watch, along with employment and then also prices. So a couple issues that we have going on right now employment has come down which means that the federal reserve will be less hawkish we've seen weakness in the jolts number adp and also employment the problem that we have right now is that and one of the concerns that i have is the prices of energies i don't know if you've seen but recently crude oil prices have really extended upwards we're in the mid 80s right now we're actually in the northern bound of the mid 80s we're at 86.29 last the high was 87 dollars and it is saudi arabia and also um, OPEC. They are they are cutting some of their outward production, same thing with Russia, and they want to leave these cuts in place throughout the remainder of the year, keep those prices elevated. Remember, they I always said they needed a north of $85 in order to balance your budget, and they'll get it there one way or another, so that's what's happening right now. So looking at the precious metals, though, kind of honing on a few things, my partner Bill Baruch, he did a video it's right in that top corner. If you go to bluelinefutures.com, go to the metals research, and he talks about the golden cross, which is actually the death cross on this one, where the 50 cross over the 200-day moving average. He did a live segment on TV. But currently right now, if you look at the trend on the market on gold, it is neutral. A couple levels to watch here. 1976, it's the 200-day moving average. It's also the level where we would break out to more of a bullish trend. And then also on the downside, it's 1947 that's where we would break to a bearish trend so current rate right now the trajectory of the gold market is lower it looks like we're gonna see that that death cross and we should see that breakdown through prices onto the downside triggering a bear trade trend you're gonna see silver it will go back to a neutral trend and then that level there is if you get um if you get silver, you get it below 2362. So we're at 2380 right now. We close below 2362. We're going to go back to a neutral trend, and then we'll need to break further than that to get the bear trend going. If you haven't picked up some really inexpensive put options, as I outlined on the Kiko article last week, I felt that that was a favorable position to put on as prices look susceptible to a correction. So uh, getting into other markets here, outside markets are weaker. You've got the softer... Uh, equity prices, you got S&P down 11, you got the NASDAQ down 49, you got the Dow down 70. You also have copper prices slightly lower. You've got energy prices, you got crude oil down 35 cents, not much weakness though. Any kind of weakness is going to end up being bought up. You did have a crop progress report came out. The conditions showed that the crop was under stress from that recent heat that we had. So you got soybeans up 13, you got corn up three, and then a dollar index slightly weaker, 10-year treasury yields 4.24%. Uh, slightly weaker as well. So if you haven't revisited our uh, some of the other programs we have, some of the managed programs on futures, we do have the Global Opportunities Fund. It is a $250,000 minimum. They can do that where they do leverage it, where if you put in half that amount, it would trade two times that. Last year was up 42% this year. Slightly negative here to slightly positive uh, on the year. Had a bit of a rough January with that um, acceleration on the NASDAQ where a lot of people thought prices were going to uh, decline here early on. So, but if you got any questions, give me a call. You want to know more about that program? Give me a call 312-858-7303. Remember, remember futures and option trading does involve risk of loss, may not be suitable to all investors. Good luck and good trading.